Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about does having more money or better magic cards make you a, allow you to win more? So not to like sound very uh, cynical, but yes, it absolutely does. If I have a modern deck that is extremely, you know, net decked, which means it was tested by a pro, it was it won a few tournaments, it's like overall a expensive deck, and the best decks do tend to be more expensive than decks that are rogue built. Now I will begin by again saying that I do not hate rogue decks. I love rogue decks, I play Maverick and Modern, that's not a tier 1 deck. I don't even know if it's a tier 2 deck right now, it's probably like, it's probably not. I like playing fun decks with cards that I love to use, Filear being, you know, Filear, Restoration Angel, uh, Archangel, uh, Kitchen Fakes. I play those cards because I like the combo. It doesn't always work. I'm, right now I'm designing a um, Generator Master Cruelties combo and that's not like the best deck ever. It's actually not a great deck. Um, but I like it. I like to play with it. But that's very different. So I want to make a point about how it is different from having the cards and choosing not to use them and not having the money to buy the cards. So if you have the cards and you choose not to use them, and you have your Tamagoyce, you have your Splinter Twins, you have all these expensive cards, and you choose, hey, no, I don't want to use, I don't want to play Splinter Twin, although it is the best deck and it's easy for me to make the deck, because it's not fun for me. And Splinter Twin, honestly, is not the type of deck I would want to play. But that is your choice not to play the deck. There are plenty of players who do not have that choice, and this is why this I'm making this video. I if you want more players in the game, you have to give them the ability to play the decks they want to play. And the ability right now is restricted by money, um, by collection size, by how much money you make a paycheck, how much money you can afford to pay magic, to buy magic cards with. And that makes me, that makes me, um, it's a little depressing for me to consider that like, I may win some games because I have a standard deck that is optimized. I have my Storm Breath Dragons, I have my 8 Fetchlands, which people, a lot of people in this comment will probably say, oh, that's not optimized, you're just being stupid. But, you know, in my opinion, it is optimized. I play Red Deck Wins a lot, and in the modern Red Deck Wins, you always play the maximal Fetchlands you can. It used to be 8, I don't know how many they're playing right now, I imagine that they figured out the magic number, but it's at least eight. It used to be you played Arid Macers and you played the, the other one. Arid Macers and the other, oh, Misty Rainforest, and you just play four of each in your mono red deck. And modern, at least. That's what I remember. But if you don't have your Tarns, you don't have, let's say like, instead of Tarns, you're using like Flooded Strands. Yeah, it's a tiny bit of different. That is not like what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is if you're playing a green deck and you don't have Tomagors. And your opponent has Tomagors and he's playing the exact same deck as you. He will beat you down. He will beat you down with his Tomagors and that will be the difference between the match. Maybe he doesn't draw the Tomagors one game, but like just the ability for him to play a turn two Tomagors and you not be able to play your turn two Tomagors or on the, on the play, you don't play Tomagors, he plays one. It's a huge difference between having that huge 5-6 out there to beat you down and then having your own 5-6 to kind of protect you. Yes, you can make some budgets, you can use Tassiker as a budget card, but still, still, I think most players, most people who play modern would say in the decks that Tom Wolf is so dominant into, there's a reason he is the price he is at and he has two reprints. Two, not one, two. And he's still at the price he is at. It would also be like, even a, a, the most extreme case would be a new player who's playing a deck and the deck doesn't really have like the, like rares or even like it's just like an uncommon or common deck. Yes, if you have an optimized deck, you will be able to beat that new player very, a lot. Even if it's not a new player, it's a returning player who's really good at magic. You could still, you still have a massive advantage over that player. So the question is, does money buy you Magic the Gathering wins? In my opinion, is at Friday Night Magic, it does. It so does. I've seen so many uh, unoptimized decks that if optimized would be able to beat me. But because they are unoptimized, I play my uh, junkie deck and I can beat them. And a lot of you guys 
like I'm playing like some like type of mean deck. No, I'm not. I'm playing dragons right now. Like to my knowledge, dragons is not currently a tier one deck. It did do well, but the dragons I'm playing with is like I'm playing that goblin into more dragons, and that's all I'd be, I'm doing. I'm just playing dragons. Colgon actually, I have Colgons in my deck now. Uh, mo multiple Colgons. I have Colgon the Dragon Lord and Colgon the regular dragon. And that's my deck. Goblin tokens, because I love, you know, putting my anime tokens out. And dragons that pump these goblin tokens. So, yeah, it's pretty uh, crazy that money is such a big factor of magic and how many games you can win. And I don't feel like you can argue that. Um, I don't feel like you can argue that, because if you choose not to play those expensive decks, you choose to play a budget deck, that's your choice, and you are fortunate enough to have the cards to make that expensive deck, and you're choosing not to use it. But for someone who doesn't have a choice, I think that's the big difference, is whether or not you can choose to play your crappy, uh, my crappy Maverick deck, or you're being forced to play Maverick because all the other cards are too expensive in that one deck you want to play. And I would much rather have Magic players play the decks they want to play than just beat them, because I... I can afford the cards and that to me is like very like it's very sad like I don't know if it comes off this way but I, I do feel real bad beating a player who if they had a little bit more money in their deck it probably would beat me and like I know that because I know what card exactly they need to draw a lot of times it's storm breath dragon a lot of times instead of their like regular dragon or their Colgon dragon if they played storm breath they would just outright win but now they have Colgon, they got to dash him and do all types of like crappy stuff with Colgon. Bye guys.